Welcome in to Be Our Guest. And we've got folks today. We've got Kendall Leverett, Ian Malloy. They are with the Montgomery Quarterback Club. Hmm. That was established in 1941. And I think somebody, I did not realize. I think somebody else is with the Montgomery Quarterback uh, Club. With, with could, the, it be, could it be you? <laughs> Could it be you're the first female president or head coach? I am, and I love it okay, because we we'll get all that out of the way. We're lucky to have her. Yeah, yeah, I don't know right. about that, but I'll tell you something. We all need to reach out in every venue we can and help people, especially these young kids. And the quarterback club is not just great speakers, Capital City Club, great food, great networking, great relationships. But every week, we honor a player of the week. And folks, if you could see some of these kids, that is the highlight of their life, the one chance they have mm -hmm. to be all they can be. And the quarterback club basically is fun, entertaining, delightful, but at the heart of the quarterback club is elevating these players. Absolutely. And I love that. And Kendall, you do the player of the week, I think, don't you? Right, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Jay Robertson and I are uh, over the players of the week, and uh, each week we honor a, uh, a private school and a public school player of the week mm -hmm. from the whole River Region area. Uh, the, the coaches nominate uh, special players each week, uh, and we bring them in and uh, have a Player of, the, player of the week each week and at the end of the year we also have a uh, player of the year uh, those players of the year uh, then are given a scholarship uh, for for college mm -hmm. and uh, as you said these are some, some great kids out in the river right. region uh, you hear too much too much bad right. uh, in the world but uh, you know there's some there's some great and, kids know, out and, there they're doing great things and these are kids whose names you're going to hear going into the ranks correct yeah, yeah there's be kids they're, you'll see playing on Saturdays mm -hmm. uh, yes and possibly Sundays yes but uh also telling telling Ian you know talking earlier uh, I've been in the club a long time so a lot of these kids you're now seeing uh, become young men right starting careers uh, and uh, it, it's, it's great it's uh, you kind of get to know them and kind of follow them then throughout uh, the rest of their, like I said, uh, playing days, but also uh, into their professional life right. as they grow older. The people so that they're becoming. At, right. at a typical quarterback club meeting, and they meet on Tuesdays Correct. during the football season and up, up through the end of the season, we meet at the Capital City Club, which is in downtown Montgomery. There's wonderful, adequate parking. At a typical meeting, you're going to have dinner. You're going to then honor the player of the week. Correct. And then guest speakers. Right. And I don't mean just somebody from down the street you've <laughs> right. got mm -hmm. great guest speakers give our viewers kind of a little capsule of some of the guest speakers for this year our guest speakers have ranged from everyone from the radio announcers from auburn alabama we've always had mm -hmm. eli gold uh, pretty regularly um, rod brantwood has had been there rest his soul this year we're looking forward to his replacement andy who right. is going to have an incredible story because he's actually coming in one of the first week so it's gonna be the mm -hmm. first week after his first experience being the voice of the Auburn Tigers um, after one week and just stepping into that new role in his career is got to be just um, rewarding but also very emotional to right. be able to replace someone that has you know become so famous with the, the Auburn right. Tigers just synonymous right. with hey this is what we heard this is the amazing plays and how he's gonna try to fill those shoes but also bring his own personality mm -hmm. into the experience um leanne tui um, i'm not sure if you're familiar remember yeah, the blind side the blind side and um, she is the actual person it's not sandra bullock we're not bringing right. sandra. we're not <laughs> bringing sandra. <laughs> we, played, we played her but we're right. bringing she's coming in here she was here about three years ago did an excellent job. Absolutely. And, uh, I think that's probably and, and still that's used a record that, crowd we've ever had. Yeah, well, that's uh, usually considered to be ladies' night, even though I want to say this. Every night is ladies' night. Because a lot of women come. Don't yep. be bashful if, you're, you know, if you want to come as a husband and wife team. Sam Johnson come spoke about uh, early June about quarterback club. Mm -hmm. And a woman actually bought a membership yep. into the quarterback club for her husband for a birthday present. Oh, right so yeah. if you got everything you can ever have, Right. Buy them a quarterback club membership. Absolutely. They'll Absolutely. love it. Yeah. 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 We also have we have great corporate sponsors too. And we have we have a raffle and all of the door prizes are just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the cost, let's let's talk about that. The cost for a membership 
is just a regular membership. Just a regular standard membership, $350 for the year. Now that's the corporate. That's the corporate, and, yeah. And the individual is $275, that's right? right? Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. that's 10 or 11 evenings that's meals, that's right. entertainment. Including dessert. Right. And, and yeah, <laughs> you know, you gotta oh, get great a meal. dessert. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a surefire way to have yeah. fellowship with Absolutely. folks who have common fun. interests, Absolutely. college football, college Absolutely. sports, helping the community, uh, just the passion there. Right. Right. And awesome. like we said, I mean, and, and our focus though is, is the kids. So that's I mean, right, the kids. To, uh, Absolutely. Just support the kids. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, you know, there's great kids out there and, and uh, you know, we need to be supportive of them. Uh, uh, Pat them on the back, let them know, uh, you know we're, we're proud of the great people that they're being and how they represent uh, the school and the communities. And uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's our future, folks. Correct. The, these kids are our future. And we've had everybody from the athletic director at Alabama, Greg Byrne. We've had yep. also Auburn. Auburn's it's well nice. represented. Yep. A lot of different schools, not just Alabama, mm -hmm. Auburn. I think we have the new coach at Troy. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Chip Lindsey. Uh, yeah, right. but if you want to come and participate and basically have a wonderful time but make a difference in the life of a young person. Mm -hmm. Please, the best way to do that is to get to in touch with... Uh, yeah, well, of course you can go to our website, uh, mgmcubacclub.org. Again, it's mgmcubacclub.org. Uh, you know, feel free to, uh, there's, there's a brochure application there online. Uh, you know, feel free to give me a call, 334-398-2012. Um, okay. And uh, or or any of the b board members that'll be listed right. there on the website, uh, we can we'll put you uh, get you connected. You're welcome to call Good. me. Feel free. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phone. Gentlemen, thank you for what you're doing. And just remember this: it's a wonderful organization. It's been around a long time. That's all. It's missing is you. And we'll be right back right after this.